ABC 13 is taking a closer look at a rare form of dementia now in the national spotlight. Our Jonathan Bruce got inside access to one of the country's only units right here in Houston and a family fighting for a cure. Jonathan joins us now live with the story, Jonathan. Well, so many of us have families hit by that ugly reality of dementia, right? Most commonly, the disease affects elderly people, forms like Alzheimer's. Frontotemporal dementia, though, FTD, can hit people as early as their 40s, crippling them in the prime of their lives. It's great. Isn't that funny? That in our great. visit to Houston Methodist FTD unit, we met the family of Wendy Rosenthal. She's a Houston woman who was in business with her husband, Lowell, selling library books to schools when she was diagnosed with FTD in 2019 at just 51 years old. I, I remember sitting down at dinner one night and I said, will you please pass me the salt? And she looked at me and said, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And then it's kind of progressed now to where she just doesn't understand anything that I'm telling her or asking her. FTD can strip victims of their judgment, language, and eventually their life. Love you. I love you, Tom Mark. Wendy is now in a full-time memory care unit. But she's in good spirits and active, according to her family. Her doctors told me patients like Wendy don't really recognize they're deteriorating. The suffering passes to caretakers. Family, friends, lean on them because uh, I, you'll need it. It's, this is, um, it's a devastating disease and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. And we need to find a cure. Our thanks to Lowell and Allison for sharing their story. Now tonight, ABC profiles actor Bruce Willis, another vibrant person crippled by FTD and the difficult paths of care. Emma and Bruce Willis, the unexpected journey, a Diane, Diane Sawyer special that is at seven o'clock right here on ABC 13.